Why by chance archaeologists discover ancient treasures in the most unpredictable places on the planet? Such discoveries give us the opportunity to understand how our ancestors lived. These finds will make you look at the world differently. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. The very first hybrid animal Scientists say they have discovered the first known artificial hybrid between two animal species. They did this by analyzing the genomes of horse skeletons found at the 4,500-year-old burial site in the northern Syria. The study showed that the skeletons found there belonged to the Khan, a cross between female donkeys and male Syrian wild donkeys or gemipus. Scientists said that the large conga males were used to our vehicles of the nobility. The fact is that domesticated horses were brought to Mesopotamia only about 4,000 years ago. Therefore, before that, it was preferable for people to use larger and faster cones than donkeys. Archaeologists have long suspected that these animals were the result of crossbreeding, but the evidence was lacking. A new study has provided evidence that they were hybrid animals. One of the researchers noted that cone breeding was indeed an example of early bioengineering. The ancient treasure given to the state. The media now and then receive information about various finds of treasures all over the planet. Most of the treasures are found abroad, for example in Rome or in the capital of Russia, as well as in those territories where nomadic people previously traveled, where ancient states existed, wiped off the face of the earth over time or during attacks to capture. One of the unique finds was found in the Jitama region in Ukraine. The most ordinary local resident discovered a treasure of old coins. He was digging sand near the river. A man named Sergei Komar dug up coins of particular importance to Ukraine. According to preliminary data, it was found that they are more than a thousand years old and they were used in everyday life even under Kievan Rus. For 100 years, professional archaeologists have not been able to find even a couple of pieces of silver, and here, such luck. Now the village of Gorodnitsa is very famous, and earlier it was just a city on the map. The find received an unusual name, Gorodnitsky treasure. It is worth noting that a similar treasure has already been discovered in this area. But then, it was with the rarest Roman coins. Historians were surprised that the man turned out to be an honest one. He happily handed over the entire treasure that he managed to seize from the sandy bowels into the hands of the state. He could easily sell it on the black market, because the government of the country will provide a reward of 20% of the value of the actual price of the treasure. Now these coins are not threatened, they are under the protection of historians and archaeologists. As for the money itself, out of 32 pieces of silver, 27 coins are decorated with an engraved trident. It was this sign that was the symbol of Volodymyr the Great during the existence of Kievan Rus. Historians believe that they were minted before, 1, 000, before 1015. The remaining five coins date from 1015 to 1019. The trident of Sveropolk the Accursed is engraved on them. He got this nickname for killing his own brothers. Crow Magnin Jewelry Archaeologists have discovered an ancient piece of jewelry, a pendant made of mammoth tusk in the Polish cave of Steina. As shown by radiocarbon analysis, the age of the find is more than 41 and a half thousand years. This is the most ancient decoration of all previously discovered in Eurasia. It refers to the times when the Earth was inhabited by our Cro-Magnon ancestors, a period from 40 to 10,000 years ago. That is, it was made long before the ancient people mastered agriculture and learned to fish. The decoration was discovered back in 2010, but the results of this research have only just been published. The decoration is an excellent evidence of the culture of people who lived on the territory of modern Poland during the late Paleolithic. In addition, it suggests that people at that time already had tools, they knew how to handle them perfectly. After all, the thickness of the suspension is only 3.5 mm. Moreover, it has holes and even carved patterns. A detailed description of the ancient pendant is published in the scientific journal Scientific Reports. 
According to the authors of the work, the pattern of the pendant is formed by more than five dozen notches. In addition, the product contains through holes. Notches can serve not only as a decoration, but also carry certain information. For example, it can indicate the number of successful hunting trips of its owner, the cycles of the moon and the sun, etc. I must say that the find is of great importance for understanding the culture of people who lived in this period. Until recently, scientists were sure that fine arts religion and other manifestations of culture appeared much later after the ancient people began to lead a sedentary lifestyle. However, this decoration refutes this assumption, as well as some other finds recently discovered in Europe and Asia. Large-scale find of archaeologists in terms of the number of antiquities per unit area, any other state can hardly compete with the territory of Turkey, because many ancient states of the Mediterranean basin entered the lands of modern Turkey. Among such antiquities, I would especially like to highlight the area near Ephesus, where the ancient city of Magnesia is located. It is about this, or rather, even about the most spectacular find of archaeologists, I will tell you. Excavations have shown that in its layout, Magnesia on the Meander, the name of the river, is similar to other Hellenistic cities on the western coast of Asia Minor. But it did have one distinguishing feature. This stadium is located at the foot of the hill. In the photo, you can see the view of the stadium before and after the excavations. In the first photo, it seems that some kind of quarry was filmed, where, for example, clay or sand was mined. Indeed, covered over many hundreds of years by soil, the majestic stadium, made of marble, looks more like a huge ravine or an old overgrown mining quarry. But after the archaeologists cleared it, the scale of the structure became visible. When the stadium was built is not exactly known. However, from written sources you can learn that since 220 AD, the Magnesian games dedicated to the goddess Artemis were held on it. Most likely, the stadium was built simultaneously with the whole city, but its age, as well as the whole city, was short-lived. Approximately from the middle of the 4th century, the Meander River began to change its course and the surroundings of Magnesia began to become swampy, which prompted the citizens to change their place of residence. They began to move to Aden Trolls and Selchuk, which were located near Ephesus, which by that time had also fallen into decay and been abandoned. Excavations in Magnesia are still ongoing. 100-year-old house Wherever a person is not ready to climb in order to survive, very often necessity pushes people to frankly strange things. For example, to build a house in a sheer cliff. Who could build such a bizarre building? When exactly did it appear? And most importantly, who needed it and why, if today it is clearly empty? The mysterious house in the rock is located in the Italian part of the Alps, at an altitude of 2743 meters above sea level in an art artificial niche. The unique building is part of the mountain road Via Ferrara Ivana di Bona, consisting of many rope passages, stone stairs and small houses. The history of the loneliest and strangest building in the world is extremely foggy. There is no exact information about it, except for the rather contradictory stories of local residents. If we add together all the least contradictory information about the building, then the following will become known. Most likely, the house was built by Italian mountain shooters during the First World War, during the fighting with the troops of Austria-Hungary. Apparently, the house was built as a shelter for the night, as well as a place to store food, water, medicines and ammunition. Be that as it may, for almost 100 years the house in the rock has been empty. Inside there is nothing but a rickety floor and a few wooden chairs, which according to their appearance were brought relatively recently into the house in a niche. By the way, getting inside is a real adventure. Only physically strong and hardly people can climb here. Apparently, a rope ladder or even a bridge led into the house earlier. Today, the mysterious building is one of the most popular places of pilgrimage among tourists and climbers. 40 Golden Rainbow Bowls Many unusual discoveries are made by volunteers and amateurs. So in 2017, after obtaining permission from a local farmer, German archaeologist Wolfgang Hurt from the BLDM Archaeological Museum in Brandenburg stumbled upon something shiny and golden in a field near the village of Beitz in northeastern Germany. It reminded him of the cup of a small bottle of liquor, but it turned out to be a Celtic gold coin. 
After wandering around, Hurt found another 10 coins, and he returned with the find to the museum, whose archaeologists excavated and added the treasure up to 41 coins. Comparing the weight and size of the coins with similar coins from other hordes, the Lakage concluded that they were minted over 2000 years ago, at the end of the Iron Age, around 125-30 BC. In those days, the Celts of the Latin culture lived in the territories of modern England, France, Belgium, Switzerland, Austria, South Germany, and the Czech Republic. In the south of Germany, such coins really often come across, but in the north, in the province of Brandenburg, they did not live, which means that a trade network was established. Of the 41 coins, 19 are staters with a diameter of about 2 cm and an average weight of 7.5 grams. The remaining 22 coins are stator rolls. Their diameter is 1.5 cm and their weight is almost 2 grams. There are no images on them, but the shape very remarkable. They are curved, and because of this feature in German, they are called Regenbogenschüsselhen, which translates as rainbow balls. After all, according to legend, at the end of the rainbow you will always find a pot of gold. It was believed that these coins fall straight from the sky, they were considered talismans of happiness, and some even attributed healing effects to them. Most likely, the peasants simply found such coins after the rain, washed and shiny, right on the field. Dark Secret Room there was an ancient Tudor mansion in Yorkshire. In it, during the restoration work, something amazing was discovered. The oldest part of the mansion was rebuilt in the 12th century. Then it was a small stone house of the Scott family. In the 13th century, the building was acquired by the Calverleys, who began to rebuild it. The mansion was their family nest until the 18th century. Later, the building was just divided into separate houses and 10 families lived in it in the 19th century. At the end of the last century, the mansion was bought by Landmark Trust. To this day, it is the owner and monitors the safety. Recently planned restoration work has been carried out. It was assumed that after the repair, several families would be able to call in the house. Behind the fireplace, old placer was being removed to check if the main wood joints were intact. Gradually removing the layers, a specialist saw an opening that led them to a room that was not indicated in the modern plan. The walls of the room were covered with placer. The analysis showed that it belongs to the 17th century, the time when the owners of the mansion were the Calverly family. The restorers saw red, brown and green stains, which they initially took for natural signs of aging, mold and decay. Imagine their surprise when they removed the placer and realized that it was hiding the incredible beauty of the fresco. All the walls of the room were decorated with birds, griffins and men in small hats. The painting on the walls in the secret room is an exact copy of the paintings of the Golden House of Nero in Rome. An English touch was also added to the ornament, such as roses typical of the Tudor era. Experts say that they managed to find the most complex wall painting of that era. It is not clear who painted the room and why, especially in such an atypical style for that era. Landmark Trust executives have not yet decided what to do next. Next. After all, the fund is worth a lot of money. In 1605, a tragedy occurred here. Walter was from a wealthy family, married at the request of his parents. Over the years, he drank more and more alcohol, from which his mental state was greatly shaken. In fits of anger, he smashed the house, shouted and offended his wife and children. In one of these fits, he committed a terrible crime. He attacked his children, who immediately died. His wife, despite being seriously injured, was able to escape. Walter carefully was sentenced to death at his trial. Toilet in Antiquity the find is approximately 2,700 years old, and this is a very rare find. This is absolutely not typical for residential buildings of that time. A private home toilet. That's it. Public then apparently already were. Especially many of them have been preserved from later times, the times of Roman rule. But so that the house was in a separate small room, so it was the most natural luxury. The latrine was built of limestone and was located on a large ancient rich manor overlooking the area that is now known as the Old City in Jerusalem. It is reported that sitting on this thing was comfortable. Below was dug a capacious cesspool. By the way, such pits are very fond of archaeologists. I'm not kidding at all. In the same Pompeii and Herculaneum, many interesting things were found in such pits, which helped to better understand the life of the people who lived there. Firstly, there are leftovers of food or was food, and this can be studied and conclusions about the diet can be drawn. In general, the dream of almost any ambitious and inquisitive archaeologist is to get access 
access to such a hole and deep into it. People with money have always strived to live beautifully. Even in our time, a golden toilet bowl is an indicator of luxury. In total, as the archaeologists who made the find say, only a few pieces of such toilets have so far been discovered. The ruins of the mansion were discovered during the construction of the tourist center. Pair of Colossal Sphinxes in Egypt, a joint archaeological mission led by Horik Sarizian, while conducting service in the ancient city of Luxor, discovered a large collection of huge pieces of limestone, including two colossal sphinxes. A joint German-Egyptian mission carried out archaeological work in the temple of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. As a result, it discovered a large collection of huge limestone blocks. According to Mustafa Vaziri, Secretary General of Egypt's High Council of Antiquities, among the finds was a pair of limestone colossi depicting Amenhotep III himself. They are made in the form of sphinxes. The head of the pharaoh is crowned with a royal headdress called Nemes. Also, the pharaoh is distinguished by a royal beard and a white collar around his neck. Both colossal sphinxes were found behind the gate of the third pylon. Previously, they were not noticed because they were more than half submerged under the surface. The restorers have already thoroughly cleaned the heads of the sphinxes. The remaining parts of the body and paws are placed in special forms, where they will be preserved for a while. The pedestals of the sphinxes were decorated with inscriptions. One of them was partially deciphered. The surviving part of the text contains the ending of the royal name, which translates as beloved Amun Ra. The mission also uncovered three busts and three lower parts of statues of the lioness goddess Sak. Rate this video with your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be the first to know about the release of a new video. Leave your kind comments. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!